All right, what's going on my Hemiway owning friends? In this video, I am going to be going over your basic operations on the screen, walk mode, how to reset the factory settings in your screen, and how to reset your tripometer. All right, first we're gonna go over some basic, the basic operations and what some of the stuff means on your screen. First, we're gonna turn this, turn your bike on, which all you gotta do is hold the power button. And she lights up. So some of your basic operations are going to be real easy. The top left here, this is how much battery life you have. Each one of these bars is supposed to stand for about 20% battery life. So when, so you have five of them, it goes up to 100%. This is your pedal assist level. If you hit the plus or minus, you go up or down. So however you have them set. I have a video on how to set all that also. And this is just your miles per hour. This is, this is the odometer, the total miles that you have on your bike. Then if you would hit this I, it will give you your trip meter. And I'm gonna show you here in this video how to reset that. If you keep hitting this, it keeps telling you everything else, ride time, there's your odometer, your max speed, average speed. If you hit your headlight button, it will turn your headlights on. A headlight symbol will come up on your screen. That is a nice safety feature. You can actually, I would say, sometimes if you're riding around in a lot of traffic, to turn your headlight on, because I don't know if you've ever seen motorcycles going down the road, you will see their headlight before you can actually maybe even see the motorcycle. It's the same thing on this bike, so sometimes I think it's actually safe to just leave that headlight on all the time. All right, we're gonna use, I'm gonna go over walk mode at the end because I'm gonna show you what I use my walk mode for. Show you how to reset your trip meter. You're gonna hold the plus and minus for a couple seconds. Now this is your trip meter. T, I'm gonna guess the T maybe stands for trip. C stands for, I really have no clue. All we gotta do is change this N to a Y. So push the plus, changes it to a Y. Push the I to enter. You're gonna hold the I in one more time. There you go. Now my trip is back to zero. All right, next I'm gonna go over how to reset this computer back to the factory settings. Just in case you got in here messing around with a bunch of stuff and, and it doesn't seem to be working right, you can reset it right back to the normal settings it came when they delivered it to you in your home in the box. You're gonna, your first step is you're gonna hold the minus and the I key down for two seconds. Now you're gonna get this D, def, and then the letter N. You're gonna change this letter N to a Y. Now you're gonna click and hold the I for about two seconds and you'll get a double zero here. Now, then you just let it turn back on. So you click and held that eye, you had double zeros, and then it turns back on. Now it's all reset. Now I'm gonna show you how, how walk mode works. And I'm gonna show you how, or what I use walk mode for for me. So this might help you out. All right, this is what I use the walk mode for on my Hemiway. So the walk mode is real simple. Once you have your bike on, you, you have, do have to have the bike on, you just push and hold the minus key. I'd keep it on zero, just in case you accidentally hit your throttle when you're messing around with this. Just push and hold the minus key, and this is, here, this is what I use mine for. That's how I load it up onto my truck. I'll show you what else I got to secure it onto my truck. Well, once I get it up here, this is the hardest part. Now, I can put down in the description a set of ramps that are a little nicer than these. I made these up for uh, my buddy's really heavy Kubota, so you really don't need a set of ramps this heavy. I plan on buying a nice set of just ones that fold up that you could sit in the back of this, and the ones that fold up are actually longer than this, so it would be even easier. So, 
load your ramps up. Then I bought a nice thing that protects my tailgate. And it has it's real nice, real nice and thick. It's got to be at least half an inch thick. It's a little dirty. I used it a couple times. You take these straps and you just wrap them up in here. And if you do buy one of these, one thing I recommend that I seen down in the comments for about almost every one of these is they would say they would rip. So I think these straps are just to hold this on your tailgate. It's really not going to go anywhere. So don't take this strap and pull it super, super tight. I'm going to have a link down below for these, this cover and for some ramps. All right, this is how the back end looks. You lift this up and you'll still have your handle. Or if you have a backup camera, you could leave that up when you're backing up to something. Let me show you how it works inside now. One problem you might have if you buy one of these, these are made really just for normal bicycles. So you have this little strap here. All right, if you buy the same exact one that I bought, you're just gonna undo this one or whichever, you're gonna end up having to use two of these for your one big bike. You're gonna slide that in there, like that. Keep this like that. Lift your bike over that, sit it down. Now you could take your battery off and make it easier because you're gonna have to take your battery off anyway to hook it on here. So. When you get up here, just take your battery off. That's easier to lift that up over. Now this is how I hook it. All right, so I have that one, like I said, that's sitting right next to it. I put it through that loop, like that. Pull that down tight. And there you go. That's how I hook it. Or you can just go get a longer piece of Velcro and strap. That might work even better. But this is how I've been doing it. It's been working fine. And I usually have another another couple bikes along right next to this. I usually have this bike, my electric one, on all the way around the left. And then I put three other bikes in here. So I have four bikes in the back of my truck hooked up like this. But the other ones fit real nice. All right, well, I hope this video helped you out in like your basic operations, your walk mode, and resetting your trip, and maybe a little bit on how to load this in the back of your truck. And like I said, I'll have a link to this cover, this tailgate cover for my truck, and a nice set of ramps, just in case you think they would help you. And if you want to, to help support my channel, you can check out one of my t-shirts down below this video that I designed. It says, God bless America down the side, you can get many different sizes and different colors in this t-shirt. And I think I have some sweatshirts and some um, women's shirts down there. Same thing. Well, thanks a lot for watching my video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and happy riding.